What's up everybody? I'm that penguin dude and welcome back to another episode of my Minecraft survival let's play. Last episode I built the house and since then I've put some additions around the edges. Got some flowers, some sweet berry bushes, and then around the corner here I added the stone cutter to at least look like I could cut some wood. And then back inside I made some other changes so let's go check those out. Last time I said I was thinking about it and I did end up adding the second story. It just made a lot of sense to have more stuff around. So I think I'm gonna put an enchanting setup here and I've got some chests and a barrel for right now for some storage up here. It could be books or um, lapis, whatever. And I think I can get enough books up here around an enchanting table to make. So in today's episode, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna go check out the village that's out in that direction. And I built a boat with chest, just so that in case we ran into some stuff, I had lots of room. And we're also gonna do a lot of terrain clearing. And, oh, before I forget, I actually, I downloaded the Vanilla Tweaks Bushy Leaves, and so far I am absolutely loving it. It definitely, for me, gives way more life, especially when I start adding them to composters or barrels. I think it's gonna add a lot to making the world feel a little bit more believable and full. So that's um, one thing that I'm absolutely loving and I haven't seen really any performance impacts at all so far. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna clear this area out right here and I wanna build a barn and a small farm. I need to get some farming going and I also wanna get some animals for breeding. You know, I can get leather and meat and wool. So I think we're gonna put the barn over there and then I'm not sure if I'm gonna put the farm over across the way or maybe right next to the house right here. But either way, we're gonna get something going. The other thing I wanna tackle is I want to go and explore that abandoned mine shaft. I think we're gonna find a lot of cool stuff down there and I'll probably get lost for who knows how long. But for now, let's go over to the village and see what we can find. All right, here we are. And the first thing we see is oh, lots of pumpkins. We could take some if we need some. We probably have enough from what I've gathered already. And another thing I've noticed is there's a lot of campfires here. And I also realized I don't think I've ever been to a taiga village in any of my other worlds. They're all like plains villages or, or something else. So it's kind of cool. Though, sir, why are you in here? And cat, why are you in here? I'll let you guys out. Might have to take those down. And why are all of you in here? It's like they're all playing in a refrigerator box. A bunch of weirdos. I think we are gonna end up taking those down. So but let's take these pumpkins down so we can actually get into here. And let's start checking stuff out. Nothing? Nothing? Yeah, we're gonna take this down. So fast forward. While doing this, I, I'm leaving all the sounds in from the villagers because they sound like squeaky toys and I just thought it was hilarious. But it looks like we got some librarians, so, so that's nice. At least we've got some that we can re-roll. Let's go check upstairs. Ah, bookcases. At least we can get some books and I might steal that purple carpet later too because I like purple. All right, let's see, got grindstones. I can't remember if that's, like, I think blacksmith, but. We'll get that sugar cane and let's keep checking out. Ooh, first chest. Do we have anything good? No, boring stuff, but it's at least stuff I need. Potatoes and more wood and, and saplings. So, and ferns for decoration. So let's go ahead and let's look in here. There's a chest and more boring stuff. Yay. All right, let's go look around some more. Well, first let's grab this chest. And let's look at another house. Ooh, chest. And yay, iron tools and some iron and obsidian. This will at least be helpful. I don't think I've made an iron pickaxe yet. Oh, and obsidian. At least now we can get some more crafting recipes. So that's awesome. Take the chest. Excuse me, sir, you wanted to get hit in the head with that ax. Crazy. And another chest with more boring stuff. But oh well, we'll take it and the chest and sleep. All right, what do we go do now? Let's look around. 
Well, I wonder if up here I might do kind of a farm at some point. That might be kind of nice. That way the villagers can breed on their own. But I think for now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go and light everything up a little bit. So that way, if I am around here, I don't have to worry as much about monsters and stuff. So here we go. Yeah, I realized that I missed that there was some upstairs these. Nothing special, but we'll go ahead and take all of it and go ahead and take the chest as well. All right, let's head down and check this out. Oh yeah, nothing in there. I think I already checked that one. I think we got everything here that at least I wanted to check out. We got it all lit up. So I think now let's head back and next we're gonna go check out that abandoned mine shaft and see what we can find in there. And here we are. I dropped everything off and figured I'd just come right here. And so let's go down the water, see if we can see anything. No monsters yet. There's a lot of coal and copper down here. So that's gonna be nice. Let's light everything up while we're at it. Let's head down. Ooh, last time I just took a peek, there was a bunch of skeletons and zombies. So let's go down, put a torch here. We need to start lighting this up so it'll be a little safer. I have a shield, but I don't have an, uh, a bow. So that's going to be a little tough. I haven't found anything that's really been worthwhile. Zombies. Thought I saw a skeleton down there. Oh no, that was a spider web. Okay. Oh, zombie down there. Zombies I'm not worried about. It's the skeletons that seem to hit really hard. Let's go down here. Oh, creeper. Let's see if we can get him before he explodes. Wood. All right. Nope. And another one. Oh, come on. Oh, man. Oh, well. At least I didn't explode. All right. Oh, zombie friend. Go. Away. Get out of here. There we go. Let's light this up a little. All right. Oh, that looks like a fun little swimming pool with a waterfall. All right, let's see what's back around this other side. Light it up. And, oh, ooh, drip leaf. Sweet. This opens up into a lush cave. Oh, we got to find our way down there. I could probably just jump to that waterfall, but maybe a potentially safer path. Even though I do have a water bucket, I could just use that, but it's kind of fun to find a different path. So let's keep lighting this up. Ooh, they are definitely a little, little hangry down there. But, uh, oh, cool, let's go through this. And it's dark, but oh, we got some lapis. Lots of rails. I'm definitely going to steal all those rails at some point. But where do we want to go? Dead end. Um, Another dead end. Eventually, I'm going to come and grab some of these uh, cobwebs with some shears just to decorate with and stuff. But for now, I do want a little bit of string. Maybe make another bow to repair my other one. Let's see. What do we got down here? Ooh, that looks like it opens up into some sort of ravine down there. All right, let's skip forward here just a moment after I gather some materials. And let's get some lapis. Open up some enchanting. I do need to enchant some stuff, but uh, I really don't know what I want to do. Okay, iron. And that was dumb. I know better than to do that. And of course, look, there's a creeper. I think I'm just going to let him explode. I don't think there was any chance of trying to kill him with my little iron sword without enchantment. So next time I should probably be a little smarter about digging straight down. And let's start gathering some of this stuff. All right, we gathered some stuff. So let's keep exploring this little area. I hear some water somewhere up here. I know that there's that little waterfall up above. 
Oh, yeah, that's where the water is. And I bet that that waterfall is from the one that's literally right up above that from the upper waterfall. Oh, a little bat friend. Let's light this up. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to let this creeper explode on my shield. Because, boom. And this is why I really need to get a bow. Deal with these guys. Come on. All right, and another one. Let's get them. And there we go. All right. And let's see. Let's keep exploring a little. Oh, there's some more iron. And there's that lush cave down below. Okay, we really need to get down there because I really can't wait to get some azaleas and flowering azaleas. All right, we found our way down and it's way closer than it was before. And that is really ominous with that thunder. But uh, there's definitely a zombie over there. Let's heal up. Alright, see if we can reach him. Nope. Too far up. Alright, let's see here. If we can't get him now. Alright, at least we can get him this way. Can I jump and do it? No. Can't do that. Wow, that thunderstorm is loud. I thought I turned my ambient sands down, but wow. But I think I just said sands instead of sound. <laughs> We're keeping it in. All right, goodbye, skeleton. Let's get rid of you. I'm gonna light this place up, but oh man, look at all these drip leaf. This is gonna be fun. Oh, and all this clay too. I'm going to have to farm all of this out at some point. Is there anything back up here? You know what? I think I'm going to collect some of this stuff while we're at it. Light it up a bit more. So I think we're getting close to pretty full, so I might just kind of get a little bit more and then head back up. All right, so we're gonna head back up, drop some stuff off and get a clear inventory. So let's head back up this waterfall. All right, now that we're back up here, let's go ahead and take a look at our loot. So I got quite a bit of stuff. I'm a little haphazard sometimes on what I get. I mean, like I wanted the chains and the rails and all, I just, I just want all the things. So let's go ahead and get back and unload and then we'll take another trip down. All right, so as I was heading back and I just dropped all the stuff, but I kept hearing bones rattling. Oh, and I think I just spotted why. We got a little skeletal archer guy and a skeleton horse. I wonder if we can get the skeleton horse. And I wonder if we can get a good bow from this guy. Oh man, there goes a the skeletal horse. There we go. Anything good? Oh, uh, I don't care about the leather. I'll just go drop that stuff off and then continue the journey. All right, so here we are back down where we were before in the lush cave area, just getting some redstone. And what do we see here? Some little axolotls. I did come prepared with some water buckets. I kind of suspected, or was hoping rather, that we could find some. So I definitely am going to get these little guys. All right, so let's see if we can't get one of each color down here. And we got a little pink guy. Oh, it's tricky to hit some. 
and a little golden guy. Well, that's weird. In Bedrock, it tells you what color or type of axolotl you have, and it doesn't look to do that in Java. Oh, so I think this is the last little guy down here. There we go. I at least have one of each, even though I can't tell which one is which. Wait, get back here. Gonna make ourselves a little staircase up here. tunnel isn't flooded. And then we'll just kind of keep these right here. I put enough light down here that I'm not worried about any mobs, but I figure why not just we'll have a little lip there. And the three torches are so I know that that's in kind of a transition area or that's towards the exit. Ooh, small drip leaf. And it looks like I need something Silt Touch for that. Or Shears? I don't think I've ever seen that in my Bedrock playthroughs. Some more Azalea. Oh, I can't wait to get a pickaxe with Fortune 3. All right, let's head up here. Ooh, I really like the look of this. This totally reminds me of a movie or some sort of thing where you've got a cave entrance behind a waterfall. This actually gives me so many ideas for something else later. All right, we're back up at the top. I decided to spare everybody from more material gathering and I just dumped everything off. But look what we found. I killed the other one that I saw, but then this one just randomly showed up. So I was like, okay, let's save him get a little friend here so I think I have a lead and then we can tie him up to the house oh and I do I have a couple leads let's go get them I've never actually had one of these in any of my other playthroughs there we go I think he'll be just fine cool put this away and let's continue exploring all right I had to stop here because this is our very first diamond that we've actually found the other diamonds our first diamonds were in a sunken ship but this is our first that we're actually gonna mine so I had to bring everybody along and I don't have fortune but at least we're going to get something. So let's see if there's anything more than the two here. No, it looks like no, but that's okay. All right, we're back because I saw some glow berries and vines. And oh, look at that geode back there. I'm going to light this up first, and then we're going to go take a look at that. This is our first geode that we found. And the fact that it's in a lush cave and open like this is, I think, just really cool looking. Yeah, let's go back here and take another look. I mean, this is like screenshot worthy. Oh yeah, that's fantastic. All right, and we found another lush cave or an extension of the other one, but tons of glow berries. And this one just looked really cool and wow, more thunder. I'll have to take care of this little friend. That just looks so cool with the water and there's that cave being lit up back there. But we're gonna go ahead and light this up a little bit and then go look up there. All 
All right, we're making our way up from the other side. And, oh, look at that. Another little bit of diamonds. I probably should wait, but I'm just going to go ahead and get them now because I kind of need some diamonds. And just one lonely node. All right, let's grab this. Oh, look, we're somewhere else and more diamonds. All right, there wasn't anything else interesting, so I just cut to uh, putting some stuff in the chest. So we got five diamonds total. Not very much, but hey, it's more than we had before. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away. And then I think the next thing we're gonna do is do a lot of clearing of the terrain so that I can get ready to build a small farm and the big barn. All right, so here we go. All right, here we are with a nice clear space for our farm. I'm gonna do wheat, carrots and potatoes, sugar cane, and I think some pumpkins. Uh, that's gonna be what we're gonna start out with. And for now, I'm just gonna do kind of a rectangle alternating so that we can get some good crops to grow fast. And so it's gonna be really simple for now. And then I'll make it really pretty later and maybe do some like some bushes around it and stuff. But for, yeah, for right now, this is our farm. And now to build the barn. And welcome to the finished barn. And you'll also see two more skeleton horses, which I found while trying to search for all the other animals, which took 
way longer than I would have thought because I killed all the ones out the plains and to go hunting for some more. So we've got our cows, we've got our sheep, and we've got our pigs. So I'm gonna start breeding these up all quite a bit so that we can really start getting some wool and leather and meat and we don't struggle trying to find food or have to go out and fish for some. The other thing I noticed is that I think there's a difference between Java and Benrock because out in the plains out there, there was a ton of these animals. And then when I went to go collect some, there's none there. So I don't know if it's maybe a difference with the spawning, which I'm sure it is, and I could go look on uh, the Minecraft wiki, but I figured, you know what? It is what it is and I am kind of diving into this Java thing, so I'll just deal with it. But it was a difference that I wasn't quite expecting. The other thing I realized is I'm going to have to turn down my friendly mob sounds because, wow, these animals are getting annoying. So one thing I did forget while building this is a place for horses. And because I now have the three skeletal horses and I do plan on getting other horses or, or maybe some of the donkeys and breeding mules, is I need a place to put them. So I'm thinking like right there, I'm going to build a horse barn and then to connect the, the horse barn with this barn, maybe do like a corner blacksmith or something. So I think we're going to do that in the very next episode um, because I've got an idea of how I want it to look. So we're probably just going to bang that out real quick after I'm done with this. But yeah, so let's go around the side. So we've got this little lift here and it's very, this lift and the arm for the crane very much inspired by Blue Nerd's barn. I really kind of like how we did that. And so I kind of, I didn't copy it directly, but I did um, use that for inspiration right here. And to go up the side, I did just put this ladder right here. It was the easiest way I could think of. And I just did all of these barrels for storage. I figured for right now, this is gonna be plenty or more than plenty of storage. Got all these signs up here. And it allows me to be really organized. And kind of my method right now is the top two lines is the top barrel, bottom two lines of the sign is the bottom barrel. So it works quite well overall. I don't have to follow it religiously, but yeah, it works pretty well. So yeah, I got my anvil up here for now. I might move that down to the blacksmith later, but yeah, I've got kind of everything I need right up here. It is kind of gonna be a little annoying to go up and down this ladder, but this isn't actually going to be my permanent base. This is actually just kind of my starter base. So I think I can deal with it for now. But yeah, I'm really happy with this barn. Uh, definitely took some inspiration from um, Blue Nerd. Uh, I built his barn in the past, his really big barn with the, the big roof and, and stuff. So I kind of use some inspiration without copying anything because I don't want to copy anything in this world. So. And then in the back there, um, there's little water troughs. I use cauldrons for the water just to keep it in the cauldron. I've done it before where I just filled in the water within the um, trap doors, but I didn't really like how it looked. So and over here, here's kind of what the farm looks like, all grown up and we've got our sugar cane and pumpkins. And I know for sugar cane, it's not as effective or maybe efficient. It's not as efficient to do the lines like I'm doing. You can get more by um, doing kind of a checkerboard pattern, but I don't like doing it. So I'm just doing it like this because I can get in infinite water sources underneath the wood slabs. So it works for me. And all these crops are growing super fast because I've alternated the rows. So I've been super happy with this so far. And I think this is a good place to end it. Um, I didn't actually show everybody. I've got a little friend here. I haven't named him. So if anybody has ideas for names, leave them down in the comments uh, for some suggestions. And yeah, I just kind of put them on the porch as kind of a little friendly way to come in into my house every day. Though he keeps looking inside like, hey, I want inside, which I let him in every night, but yeah, he's being silly. Well, and I think we're ready to say goodbye. Thank you all for watching. If you've made it this long, I really appreciate you. If you've got any suggestions or ideas, leave them down in the comments and we will see you in the next one. See you later.